My name is Fran O'Hara and uh, my company is Inspire Quality Services. I'm based out of Ireland but I uh, work overall. So I was going to talk a little bit about uh, the role of the test manager in, in Agile. And uh, one of the things I've seen in organizations that have transitioned to Agile is maybe um, testing and the role of the test manager being a bit reactive rather than proactive as organizations transition over to Agile. So um, I think there's a strong role for the Agile test manager. There's two aspects to the role, of course. There's the line function, uh, your functional test manager or line manager. Uh, you still have responsibilities in an Agile context. Uh, and then there's the Agile project test manager, where you're responsible for testing on a large project. So just talking about those two points, the first one would be the line function. Uh, you're still responsible for the capability of the, the, the test profession, the test capability across teams. Like you don't have a, a silo of testers that you used to have in a non-agile context, but uh, you, you're responsible for the capability of the testers across teams. And um, you know, hiring those people, hiring the right people that's going to fit within those teams. So a lot of it is about the interpersonal skills of those testers. It becomes more important. Are they going to fit within the team to be able to work with developers alongside developers? They may need more technical skills. Uh, they may need more domain expertise and so on. So getting the right people and fitting them to the team is still a strong responsibility. The overall management of that profession, I guess, is still there. Um, as well as looking after the careers of those testers and, and the performance management. Uh, but so playing a kind of a coaching type role to ensure that those testers uh, understand Agile, understand what, ad what testing looks like in an Agile context. So that might be formal training, it might be uh, you know, on-the-job coaching and, and training and support, um, and uh, ensuring that they understand the culture of Agile. So there's a strong uh, responsibility there. And uh, setting up communities of practice potentially for those testers uh, and for testing, which may involve developers as well, because one of the things that's been a, a strong part of this conference and, and keynotes has been uh, the fact that testing is distributed across the team and happens throughout. It isn't just something done by, um, done by testers in isolation. So ensuring that the testers are able to coach or indeed yourself playing that coaching role uh, in terms of what developers should be doing from a test perspective. And of course, all of that fits within the context of an overall test strategy. And what I've seen is that uh, test managers you know, tend to be a little reactive. So being proactive would include uh, agreeing what a test strategy looks like moving forward and uh, um, you know, defining the elements of a good test strategy in Agile. And that's going to involve automation. It's going to involve an automation strategy that identifies what uh, automation levels, what automation will occur at what levels, like unit testing. Um, is there going to be GUI automation? But what about the middle tier, about the API uh, service level automation, where you're not driving through the, the UI? That can be a, a strong focus area within Agile teams. So getting agreement on the way forward, what's the role of exploratory testing? Um, and also as an overall test strategy, what about the non-functional areas? So defining where they occur, for example, within sprints relative to releases. Getting agreement and thinking that through would be, uh, I think, uh, something that a, a test manager should be very proactive about and helping to define. Rather than, I've seen a lot of organizations have problems with those areas because there hasn't been an agile test strategy. And I would see that as one of the natural responsibilities of a test manager. Continuing on from that in terms of the, the role of the Agile test manager, another area is uh, you know, agreeing the test process, um, what it looks like in an Agile context. Now you want to, obviously the teams are empowered to define their own way of working and to improve that. So what you don't want to do is be prescriptive and say this is how to do testing in, in Agile, but you do want to provide support, particularly at the start. Uh, where testers are going, what do I do? You know, developers are going, what do I do? You know, how, what does testing look like in an agile context? So the role of a test manager should be to help define that. But there's a fine line between being prescriptive and giving a, a rigid, prescriptive, standardized way of working. Um, uh, you don't want to do that because the teams are empowered uh, and you don't want to take away that sense of responsibility from the, um, from the teams. But what you do want to do is, is provide guidelines and support and examples and so on. And one of the areas, for example, would be the definition of done. And that's a very you know, important area, contentious area within Agile teams. But giving some guidelines for what that should look like in your context for your product based on the level of risk and so on that your, your products have uh, would be an important area. Again, to be proactive about this and to define this in advance 
um, uh, and allow, of course, tailoring to, to be changed, to be adapted, but that some support and guidelines given in the first instance. And again, being proactive. I think that's the key message, uh, you know, not to worry about the change and transformation to Agile, to, to embrace it. Um, you know, we've been involved in this conference for a number of years and uh, giving the last few years giving tutorials on Agile testing and uh, sometimes there's a hundred people in the in the tutorial and you know uh, the hands up how many people are doing agile and a lot of people are these days the vast majority and the, and also then the experience of those people in terms of has it been positive or negative and it's been overwhelmingly positive for testers for test managers testers are now involved right at the start they're equal on the team they're part of the team they're developing new skills um, so it's an overwhelmingly positive experience and what I've seen sometimes it, the agile has been a bit developer led um, started with XP, very developer-centric as, as a method, and I think uh, testers have sometimes, and test managers have sometimes been kind of dragged into Agile, rather than being r right at the front, helping to define the new, new way of working, a better way of working, and define an Agile test strategy, and define an Agile test process, and agree good definitions of done, and, and so on, and what an Agile test strategy looks like. And I think the, the, the uh, test manager has a key central role to play in, in uh, helping with that transformation and ensuring that testing is embedded and done properly within an Agile context. Um, the Agile test strategy obviously is difficult, you know, you've got to look at areas like, uh, you know, the non-functional areas are quite difficult uh, to get right, like performance and how they get, how that gets distributed across sprints and how that happens relative to release and what you don't want to do is to push everything that's a bit hard to the end uh, and you end up with a big integration test and a big non-functional test where there's lots of risk and you haven't done any of that testing in earlier sprints. Uh, so you want to try and do as much as possible. You want developers as part of an integrated joined up test strategy to be you know, profiling aspects of performance of the software at earlier stages so that there isn't a, a big surprise at the end where you do a, where you do a full uh, performance test on the system, for example. Um, so there's some of the areas. Uh, you don't want to, on the tool side again, uh, you don't want to be prescriptive telling people what to do, but if you, if you don't talk about testing tools and if you don't define some guidelines and if you don't suggest some appropriate tooling, what's going to happen is you'll have a proliferation of tools across your teams and, and particularly in a large organization that isn't very uh, appropriate. So you want to uh, you know, have, have some support there again for what kind of uh, tooling from a test point of view is going to be appropriate. So in, in general, the role of, the, of the, the line manager from a test point of view is going to be about removing those organizational obstacles. Like if you're using Scrum, which most organizations are, the majority are, that are doing Agile, um, you know, there are going to be um, uh, Scrum masters who are going to remove the barriers, the obstacles within teams. But at an organizational level and looking across projects, you want to see uh, what can a test manager do and support in terms of removing those barriers organizationally from a test perspective, be it to do a test strategy, be it to do a tooling, whatever from that point of view, be it to do with the capability of the, of the testers and, and testing within those teams, uh, distributed across those teams in terms of developers and testers. One of the titles of the keynotes here, I think, was uh, the end of the testing phase. Um, and I think that's very true within Agile. Agile uh, testing is much more uh, distributed and continuous throughout uh, the development, uh, both within the sprints and then across those sprints relative to a release. So it happens right from the start and, uh, and testing is done by the whole team. It isn't just done by testers. But the key role that the testers play and that the test manager nurtures is to ensure that that testing is effective and uh, to coach the developers. For example, in unit testing, I've seen um, unit tests, automated unit tests even, that achieve good structural coverage targets, but they're still not good unit tests. So, you know, they're happy path tests, they're, they're just invocations of code without checks. So, th you know, a tester can play a key role in, you know, coaching developers, and the test manager can support that, obviously, as well, ensuring that, uh, you know, the testing is effective throughout. So, within the, the short sprints or cycles or iterations that you've got, Again, they're not many waterfalls whereby testing is a phase at the end. Again, testing is going to be distributed throughout as, as stories get implemented, they get tested, if they're partially developed, they can be tested. But of course, regression testing becomes key 
there and that's why automation is so important and that's why an automation strategy is so important that looks at what levels of automation you can have uh, at what type of testing and again the test manager will play a key role in helping to define that. I think there's a, there's a whole spectrum out there of organizations that haven't tried Agile and, and people aren't really that exposed to it. They might be aware of it but they don't have a lot of knowledge but I, I find increasingly that organizations have, are, are looking at Agile and practicing Agile uh, and therefore test managers as part of that uh, uh, you know, are interested obviously and have developed uh, you know, their understanding skills, capabilities themselves. So it's, a kind of, it's, it's in your responsibility to develop those skills and that knowledge you know, um, as part of the preparation to transform into Agile. And I guess the point, one of the key points I'm making is that in an Agile transformation, the test manager should be right up front in terms of helping to define that newer way of working so that it's going to be effective, so that you don't run into quality problems. Because one of the key things within Agile is to, is to vary scope, not to vary quality, like we often do in a, in a sequential life cycle. First of all, you know, skill yourself up in terms of the knowledge, you know, whether it's Scrum or whether it's... Uh, I think one of the things that, one of the traps that people fall into is that, okay, so people want to go Agile, they think of Scrum, Scrum is very popular, it's very kind of a lightweight uh, approach, but the problem is it doesn't tell you much about testing. Um, so from that point of view, um, you need to look further and you need to look uh, at practices, for example, from XP, like test-driven development and, uh, and uh, the automation approaches. So attending conferences like your star, uh, going to training courses, on the web, you know, the forums, there's, there's lots of ways to, to gain that knowledge and going to visit other organizations that have done it, seen uh, what's been effective, what worked, what hasn't worked. Um, you know, they're all ways of, of trying to improve your own competencies and knowledge and skills so that you can bring that to the table as your organization transforms to Agile. External consultants and, and, and coaches um, would play, uh, you know, could play a very important role to help accelerate that transformation to, to Agile and, and Agile testing. Um, you know, having that, having that expertise, having done it before, having seen what works, what doesn't work, will help the organization avoid pitfalls, will help the test manager, um, you know, uh, play a more effective role. So, yeah, if, if the manager themselves has those competencies and skills and, and can do it, have developed them themselves, great, you know, but otherwise it may help to bring in some external support, even on a temporary basis, particularly in the initial pilots or the initial, uh, where the thinking is taking place in relation to what the agile test strategy and process and so on should look like and the tools that will support it. Another thing a, a test manager should bear in mind is that um, just like a project manager, they need to kind of relinquish some of the traditional responsibilities that they used to have. For example, in relation to their big upfront test plan, you no longer write a, an IEEE 829 master test plan. That's the test, the, the planning, the estimation is now done by the team which will include the test tasks that have to be estimated and so on. So it's now done by the team themselves rather than it being done by um, you know, an, an upfront test manager doing all of that kind of uh, estimation and planning. So that's one of the things, just like a project manager as well, has to kind of relinquish those kind of uh, responsibilities and empower the team to do their own planning and estimation. Um, so that's one key thing to, keep, to bear in mind. Um, I think as well, uh, uh, you know, a useful thing that project managers and test managers can do is actually to get directly involved in an agile team. If you're a line manager, it can, sh leading by example, showing leadership by actually participating in a scrum team yourself and playing the role will both improve your own understanding of it and what the, the strategy should look like, but also will lead by example as well. Um, walk the talk, basically.